The onset of cancer usually begins as a solitary tumor in a specific area of the body. If the tumor is not removed, cancer has the ability to spread to nearby organs, as well as places far away from the origin, such as the brain. So how does cancer move to new areas, and why are some organs more likely to get infected than others? The process of cancer spreading across the body is known as metastasis. It begins when cancer cells from the initial tumor invade nearby normal tissue. As the cells proliferate, they spread via one of the three common routes of metastasis, transcoelomic, lymphatic, or hematogenous spread. In transcoelomic spread, malignant cells penetrate the covering surfaces of cavities in our body. These surfaces are known as peritoneum and serve as walls to segment the body cavity. Malignant cells in ovarian cancer, for example, spread through peritoneum, which connects the ovary to the liver, resulting in metastasis on the liver surface. Next, cancerous cells invade blood vessels when they undergo hematogenous spread. As there are blood vessels almost everywhere in the body, malignant cells utilize this to reach more distant parts of the body. Finally, lymphatic spread occurs when the cancer invades the lymph nodes and travels to other parts of the body via the lymphatic system. As this system drains many parts of the body, it also provides a large network for the cancer. In addition, the lymphatic vessels empty into the blood circulation, allowing the malignant cells to undergo hematogenous spread. Once at a new site, the cells once again undergo proliferation and form small tumors known as micrometastases. These small tumors then grow into full-fledged tumors, and complete the metastatic process. Different cancers have been known to have specific sites of metastasis. For example, prostate cancer commonly metastasizes to the bone, while colon cancer metastasizes to the liver.